from Italy. It didn't have that effect on me. So, uh, funny enough, I never got to ride with him until later in life, until he made his comeback when he was 54. And um, yes, he was, he was a great man. And, uh, you know, he, he always had the horror around him and he was very intimidating. But I used to be quite outgoing. I used to pull his leg all the time and crack, cracking jokes. And uh, yeah, I got to see the other side of him and uh, he had the dry sense of humor. You know, he was, he was an amazing man. Sounds like you both connected quite well on a, you know, a personal level. I, I wonder what you made of him when you did manage to race against him, when he came back, you know, for that second time. What you thought about him as a jockey? Well, you know, it's amazing. He had five years off the sport. He spent some time in prison as well. So to make a comeback after five years off the sport and within a month, he managed to win one of the big, biggest races in the world, the British Cup in New York. I was actually in the race and I was, everybody was just gobsmacked and he just walked around like uh, was water off duck's back, you know, like that's what I do and that's why I'm the best to do that. After five years off at the 54 year old, it was amazing. You know, he's so talented, you know, in his heyday, he was 20 years in front of everybody else, you know, and, uh, and, you know, he'll so be, be remembered as the greatest jockey of all times. Frankie, horse racing is a hard sport, isn't it? You know, and Lester in particular had to put himself through some amount of physical discomfort in order to be able to ride because he was tall for the era, wasn't he? You know, he had to manage his weight. We've seen lots of tributes saying, you know, coffee and cigars that he survived on. It was difficult for him. Listen, I'm five foot four. He was five foot eight. And uh, obviously, the weights in those days were a lot lower, you know, the, the, the weights have, have, have risen in, in racing in the last few years. And, you know, he had to struggle, you know, I mean, that was uh, his biggest battle uh, in, 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 his, in his life with his weight. And uh, he managed it, and, but it must have been really, really hard on his body. And in terms of Leicester more broadly, I know you were there when, you know, there was a statue unveiled to him. You know, you're obviously good friends with him. But the wider racing community and the wider sporting kind of world, how do you think they'll remember him? Well, it's amazing. You know, we got the Platinum Jubilee this weekend. We got uh, the Epson Derby, what he made it his own. And uh, we're going to pay respect to him this weekend. You know, just... Uh, it was an amazing jockey and, uh, you know, to win nine derbies, I mean, it's really crazy just to think about it. And uh, it will never be forgotten in my sport, that's for sure. Do you know how he did that? How did he win a record nine derbies? How is that possible? <laughs> really don't know. <laughs> I've asked the question myself. Actually, you know, we all went to Leicester and asked for advice how to ride Epson. Epson is a unique place. It's very difficult to ride, but... Uh, you know, he just had that magical touch, and that's why he won nine derbies. He didn't give out advice too much, I'd say, to his competitors, Frankie. Uh, absolutely, absolutely, yes. Well, Frankie Dottori, thank you so much for your time uh, with us on Breakfast thank this you. morning. Great to get uh, your thoughts there. Uh, talking about Lester Pickett, who was just such a remarkable jockey. And you kind of forget about it, don't you? But then, you know, when things like this happen and you get to reflect on it, it is just unbelievable what he achieved. The you know. difference. I'd never realised that yeah. I knew he was taller, but yeah. I didn't realise how much taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's changed and it's got a little bit easier, more acceptable for jockeys now. But at his era, I mean, what he was doing mm. at that height, remarkable. Wonderful reading all those happy memories, isn't it? Thank you, Sarah.